Okay, that was Norfolk Southern Train 14R. He came through Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania at uh, 3.45 p.m. 3.45 p.m. on Sunday, August 19, 2018. When it comes to train watching in northeastern Pennsylvania, Wilkesbury is my hometown and original rail fanning stomping ground. At milepost 690, the bridge crosses the Susquehanna River from the city's southwest side into Edwardsville and Kingston before crossing the river back again into Wilkesbury on the north side. The bridge at 690 is known by locals as the Black Diamond Bridge, owing that moniker to the area's coal mining past. The railroad calls it the Fish Island Bridge. Why they call it that, I have no idea. The Susquehanna River that it crosses, though tranquil and peaceful most of the time, is also one of the primary reasons for Wilkes-Barre's catastrophic decline in rail infrastructure. In 1959, the Knox coal mine disaster caused by reckless mining flooded large portions of the area's coal mines to the point that they could not be reopened and ended large-scale coal mining in Wilkes-Barre forever. In 1972, Hurricane Agnes practically wiped out downtown Wilkes-Barre overnight when floodwaters covered it in nine feet of water. Nearly a quarter million people were left homeless as 400,000 homes and businesses, including the railroads, were destroyed. In 2003, a levee system was built that successfully resisted other storms in 2004 and particularly in 2006 when Wilkes-Barre made national front page headlines when 200,000 people were told to evacuate. This was because of flooding that was predicted to reach the levels of Hurricane Agnes in 1972. From the railroad side of things, the flooding in downtown Wilkes-Barre signaled the beginning of the end for the rail operations there. At least four railroads converged in downtown and in 1972, the central New Jersey was the first to pull out curtailing all of its Pennsylvania railroad operations to the Lehigh Valley Railroad. The stretch of the Sunbury Line from milepost 692 to around 686 was originally the Wilkes-Barre Connecting Railroad between the Pennsylvania Railroad's Buttonwood Yard to the south and the D&H's Hudson Yard to the north. And by the early 1970s, the now Penn Central and the D&H were doing their interchanging in either of those places, leaving only the D&H and the Lehigh Valley interchanging in downtown Wilkes-Barre. In 1976, Conrail was formed and the railroad map of the Northeast United States was changed forever. Closer to home, the Pennsylvania Railroad Wilkesbury branch from Sunbury to Buttonwood along with the Wilkesbury Connecting Railroad became the sole property of the Delaware and Hudson and all railroad interchanging in downtown Wilkesbury was gone. In the early 1980s, Conrail sold the D&H the ex Lackawanna line from Taylor Yard to Binghamton, New York and what we know today as the Sunbury line was formed. Because of Big Blue's dominance in the Northeast, the D&H found itself in a life and death struggle to stay independent, as well as alive. Shortly after the Lackawanna line purchase, Guilford Industries, what we now know today as Pan Am Railways, took over the D&H and operated it until the late 1980s when they placed the D&H into bankruptcy. Until a buyer could be found for the D&H, the New York, Susquehanna, and Western operated it from 1989 until about 1991 when the Canadian Pacific took control making that Suzy Q SD60 that we just saw in train 14R more at home on these rails than the casual observer may have realized. Also at home on the Wilkes-Barre Connecting Railroad is the Penn Central Heritage Unit number 1073 which also came up on train 14R the very next day.
Although Conrail abandoned what trackage remained in downtown Wilkesbury to the short line Pocono Northeast Railroad, it didn't abandon northeastern Pennsylvania altogether, at least not up to that point. What Conrail did keep was the Exley High Valley and CNJ main lines from Allentown Yard to Sarah, Pennsylvania. The halfway point between the two yards was Lehigh Valley's Coxton Yard, which Conrail operated until the mid 1990s when it, along with the line between Mahoopany and Lehighton, was sold to the Reading and Northern, who operates it to this day. Coxton Yard, Pittston Yard in today's Reading and Northern vernacular, is usually a good place to do some diesel locomotive spotting. You never know what you're going to find. Maybe an ex Norfolk Southern High Hood waiting for its day to be reincarnated, or maybe a pair of crimson jeeps basking in the afternoon sun.